Hey, welcome to our JavaScript video series. You can easily access the link in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Function is a block of reusable code that perform a specific task or set of tasks. Function are essential for code organization, reusability, abstraction. To show a greeting message for people who enter the office. Instead of writing console log every time and in case there is a need to upgrade the message. Then we do it for every person, which become hard if we have too many people. Instead, we use the function to handle the logic of the creating message, which become easy to upgrade if there is a need for that. So far, we have shown the benefit of the function. Let's learn how to define a function in JavaScript. Function declaration, the most common and traditional way to define a function using function keyword followed by the name with a possible way to have the parameter then the logic inside the bracket with the optional return value. Function expression is the way to define a function using an expression. This means you create a function and assign it to a variable or use it as an argument to another function, just like any other value. Function expressions are practically useful for defining an anonymous function or for creating a function on a fly. A shorter syntax for defining a function compared to a traditional function expression. The raw function is especially useful for writing small, simple function. Although not recommended due to the security and performance concerns, you could create a function using a function constructor. This method is less commonly used and not recommended. A special type of function that allows to pause the execution and later continue it can be defined using a function asterisk syntax. Generator functions are practically useful for working with the sequence of values, such as iterating over large data sets or dealing with asynchronous operations. They are designed to simplify asynchronous code and make it more readable and maintainable. Async functions are built on top promises and provide more straight way to work with asynchronous operations using async before the function name and await inside the function to wait for a promised result, then continue execution with a return value. It's possible to use a try catch for error handling. Each of these methods has advantages and use cases. Function declaration and error functions are commonly used for most scenarios, while function expressions named or anonymous can be useful in more specific situations when you need to define a function that dynamically. The generator function can be useful to deal with a large sets of data. The synchronous function can be useful for promises and data fetching. And that was all in this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one.